Well, our next guest has been a familiar face on ABC TV screens for almost two decades as one of the infamous Chaser Boys. Yes, now one of the sort of infamous Chaser middle-aged men, I suppose, Andrew Hanson. You've got shows in Sydney and Brisbane this weekend where you're going to be telling us uh, that everyone else is wrong, apparently. Yeah, that's right. Well, this is the mindset of the whole human race at the moment. Um, well, I thought this is the, the, the condition we're living in now. We all think, don't we, that everyone else is wrong. It's the one belief that unites us all. Yeah, at least we've got something in common. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll do a musical show about that. Yeah. Right. Now, wh what, have you, what have you been up to since you and the other Chaser lads have been on our screens? Yeah, it's a, it's a good, good question, John. You know, I often get asked, you know, what, what are we doing? And I've, I've put it into a little tune, uh, actually, just, just to update you, you know, on what, uh, what the other Chaser TV people have been up to. Um, I'll just play it for you here and uh, we'll... Does that sound all right? Is it in tune? All right. Good. If you're finding it hard to remember The other guys all over Australia I'll remind you of each chase a member And precisely why each one's a failure Here's why. <laughs> Now, Chaz does some show about crazy Americans, you know. <laughs> yes. But since Trump left, I don't know why they screen it. Chris is writing for the box. Well, only on Foxtel. You can't prove his show's good, cos no one's seen it. <laughs> Julian's not fashionable. He's on Radio National. The soundtrack to many nursing homes. Craig says it's drastic that we all get rid of plastic. Yet his screen presence is just like styrofoam. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of what I think John needs to have a right of reply I, as I, the I, other half of the I'm planet perfectly planet comfortable America. being a measure of Chaz's lack of success <laughs> right now. No, that's fine, John. No, no. <laughs> you're, you're the more successful half now, of the Andrew, duo, John. I, I, I was thinking this morning, it's, it's a quarter of a century since I first saw you singing and performing. Oh, I'm sorry. And, oh, and, and, it, was, and it was very what? obvious... Well, it was very obvious back in those dim, dark days at the University of Sydney that oh. when you were on stage there with some of the chasers, some future politicians, lawyers, doctors, wow. public servants... What a, a part of ..a part of reviews and everything else, you stood out not just because you were wearing a cow costume, but because well, you were obviously you talented. And my serious question mm. to you is... In a time and a place when a lot of people have, you know, ideas of greatness, but talent is quite short in supply. Was that a was that a handy thing for you to have to be that able, that talented, or did it kind of box you into still singing songs 25 years later? It's boxed me into still singing songs <laughs> 25, right. 25. It's a great burden to be so brilliant. It really <laughs> yes. is. It's very hard to carry this much genius, is it? Um, but, but Do I mean, you that... have that sense of certainty back then, I guess, is my question? No, I never knew what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted to kind of avoid doing a, doing a proper job. But, um, you know, look, in, in Australia, I, I think talent, you know, is, is something you've got to, you ought to use. So that's why I've decided, oh, yes, I should probably put on a few more shows and, and keep singing songs 25 years ago. I'm not really good at much else, you know. I'm not good at accounting, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm not really good at those, those sorts of things. Um, but yeah, look, in, in Australia, the opportunities are few and far between. Of course, if you wanted, if you want to write and perform, so most people rack off overseas, don't they? You know, mm -hmm. Jermaine Greer and Paul Hogan, and all. <laughs> so we were all quite glad that they left, weren't mm. we? But uh, you know, um, I, but I haven't done that, you know. I'm, You're I'm very loyal. Beavering away here, and yes. Andrew, yeah. everyone else is wrong according to mm, you, they sure and are. you've taken aim at someone who's very fam um, familiar and a favourite on ABC TV. I've had to, Joe. I've had to, I've had to take issue with this, because my, my wife left me recently, and she took the kids, um, and they left me for this other guy mm. who works in children's television, would mm. you believe? It's, it's a sad, sad thing, I thought, at first. But in the end, I thought it's all right, because he's actually a great guy, and he's probably a better, better dad than I could ever be. Okay. to my own kids and I'll, I'll tell you about it in the form of this little tune. I was going to bring a nice backing track because I've recorded all this beautiful music. Your producer said, oh, no, you, we don't have the budget for that. Yeah, you don't. That. No. That you're doing just fine. Oh, she said, you don't even have a line in socket, apparently. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I can make a podcast in my bedroom and have a better setup <laughs> yeah. than ABC Breakfast has yeah. here. But With a bigger budget. Probably. Well, I, I actually do. There are, you, there are 15 year olds on TikTok who have a, who have a line in. <laughs> anyway, this is my sad tune about. Uh, the children's TV guy. I tried to keep my family close to me, tried to make a happy home, but I couldn't make it happy enough, so now I'm all alone. 
I tried to be the perfect husband The best dad you could find Tried to bring joy to my children Play and tag if I had the time But now this house is empty I'm lonely and I'm sad Cause they left me and hooked up with Bluey's dad Oh, they found a dad with energy A dad who thrills my girl and boy Who shines all day through creative play Instead of just shouting, oi I used to drag myself from bed To make their cornflakes with trembling hands now Bluey's dad bakes multi-grain muffins from a mansion in Queensland. He built a racetrack out of furniture for my kids to run some laps on. And I was so pooped our furniture was just something to collapse on. So to all you fancy parents saying, Bluey's such an excellent show. I'm glad your parent bar is high. But mine's realistically low <laughs> I don't play the xylophone freeze game I might not play keepy-uppy But at least I'm a real father Not some right-on animated puppy <laughs> Bluey's dad, you might think You're the top dog in my town But I'm gonna pay the vet To put you <gasps> down Don't worry, boys and girls, he's, he's, he's not really going not, to hurt Bluey. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Look, I, look I, he, he got away anyway. He's, uh, you know, he's, 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 got, he's got security in that mansion. Mm. So he couldn't get in. Any seats available at your, your shows this Millions, weekend? Millions. Really? Yeah, you? yeah, the comedy industry's collapsed. I don't know if you've heard of this. Oh. But, you know, if you want to grab one of the millions of tickets in mm. Sydney or Brisbane... Uh, so it's still hard to get live audiences back out again. Well, a little. I, look, it has yeah. been a little bit. Weirdly, it was it was actually more lively last year, you know. Mm. Um, but uh, but we are back on. Well, good luck with it. Yes. And good luck. Good to hear. Thanks. It's been nice, John and Joe. Thank you.